Let's bring in Natasha Fata, who has the very latest on this story for us today. And Natasha, I have to say, we've been following this story through the early morning hours, trying to get more details. So at this point, what more do we know? We did get quite a bit of clarity from Toronto's police chief, James Raymer, just last hour, Michael. And he did confirm that this 30-year-plus veteran of the police services, um, Constable jo Jeffrey Northup, has died as a result of this incident that took place in the City Hall parking garage overnight. Now, what we understand is that the suspect used a vehicle and struck the officer, and then he died shortly after as a result. What we understand is that the constable, along with his female partner, were responding to a call. They were already in the parking lot of a possible robbery, robbery that could have turned into a potential stabbing incident. They responded, and then this incident ensued. We also found out that both of those officers were in plain clothes, and they were working as a result of Canada's Day events that were taking place last night. Their identification as officers would have been in plain sight because they would wear it around their neck. And so as a result, the police are treating this as a deliberate act. Let's have a listen. Well, it's, it's, it's very early on in the investigation, but uh, based on the evidence we have at this time, uh, and I spoke to the lead investigator from the Homicide Squad, it, is a, it was a deliberate and intentional act. And that's, that's, that's all really I can tell you at this point in time.